What's up, Reapers? My name's Seth, and we are back here with some more Pixar, and I'm finally learning, folks. I'm finally learning. I don't know why it took us this many episodes for me to realize we can place down blocks. <laughs> like in the last episode, I started building some towers up for us to start claiming some creatures and taming and knocking things out and stuff like that. And then as I was going into this dungeon, I noticed this raptor here that was kind of giving us a little bit of grief in the last episode and realized, wait a minute. Why aren't I playing this game the way I've seen Etho and B-dubs and so many other Minecraft YouTubers play difficult Minecraft maps where you start sealing off the enemies, block them off, make it so that they can't do anything. So that's exactly what I ended up doing. I ended up kind of just sectioning off this whole dungeon, sneaking in here, tranking this idiot, and now we're going to have a level 51 raptor baby. Like seriously, I'm excited about that. However, this was very disappointing. The chest, did I just see him attack the block? This chest right here, no items in it. All that work, and for what? Like, what, what was this chest actually supposed to have given us? I don't know. I mean, there is going to be more gear down there, but you can see there's more skeletons, and I'm still not entirely confident that Yoshi 2, because our first one died, I, I'm not entirely confident that we would be able to even fight those skeletons, much less, uh, you know, our raptor be able to do it. And honestly, I mean, this is a pretty high level raptor. I'm not really looking at uh, getting this one killed. What can I say? I also got to keep uh, going through the terrain a little bit here and kind of clearing things up. Like, that, that's one thing that I knew was going to happen. See, we could sneak down there and get at the treasure. That would be kind of useful, but I don't necessarily want to do that just yet. Maybe we could do that today. I want to kill a couple things though with Yoshi 2 here just because we really need to we really got to get some levels man like we're we're so slow at progression it's absolutely ridiculous so anyways raptors usually fight these turtles right I'm pretty sure it can kill it yeah get him Yoshi 2 you know what I'll help you too I'll chop him up yeah there we go that's what I'm talking about all right so now we can actually start killing some stuff I should probably change my hotkey for uh, actually setting up the kills, but ooh, this raptor. Ooh, this raptor. He's so nice. Where's the items that that other guy dropped? Oh, there's more items over there. Oh, there was quests over here too. Yeah, we should definitely try and grab some of these. I don't want to attack that trike yet because, like, I, I want to claim him eventually. And I would love to try and go into the desert or a different type of biome, but it's just not really going to work out. Kill a Fiomia to prove you are a good hunter. Okay, that sounds like an easy enough quest for me if there's any of them still around, seeing as we killed almost all of them. Where were those other quests? There was more quests in the area. There's one over there. There's one over there. Okay, cool. Uh, I guess they do actually show up on the map, so I should just be looking at that. But either way, let's go fight this guy. What? Accept the quest something, blah, 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 whatever. Uh, so yeah, that, I guess I should point that out just because the game actually does kill Fiomia. That didn't count as our kill. Why? Because the raptor killed it? Uh, but yeah, if we actually take a peek at our map, you can actually see all the quests and you can see that they're going to end up refreshing in four hours. So that's, that's when we can actually just get ourselves some more new quests. So level 62, this guy might be a problem, but because he's a Fiomia, I can just kind of kite behind him. And he shouldn't be too bad, just because it's a pretty easy starting dinosaur. There we go, got him out of the way. And then where's Yoshi? Come back over here, buddy. Let's grab these other quests before we end up going and turning that one in and hopefully getting something worthwhile. These are kind of starting quests though, so kill another Fiomia. Really? You already accepted this quest. Once it's complete, go back to the mailbox you accepted it from. Ew! That's kind of gross. So I guess the way that it works then is that it must mean, you know, you you, you can get the same quests over and over, uh, but the whole point is we turn it in at this mailbox and then this guy's gonna be on cooldown. So we're gonna be able to go and get a quest from the other one there. So privilege certificate. I don't know how these work, guys. Uh, it says extend soil privileges for a certain amount of time. I can only assume that you use these to set up stimulant. Huh. I think that you use them to claim an area, like for a server, maybe? You know? Like, like you would set up shop and set up your area and it's like, Oh, by the way, yeah, you can't, uh, you can't build on my zone because I've already claimed it or something. I I'm not exactly sure. You already completed this type of quest today. You can't accept another one. Oh, well, that's kind of mean. Anyways, get him, Yoshi. Yes. 
More! Kill them all, Yoshi! All of them! Destroy the other Packy, please! Do it. He's so powerful, I love it. You are beautiful. Destroy that one too, Yoshi. My wish is, uh, my command is your wish, I mean. Do it, please! I'm gonna just pull out our bow, just for the simple fact that we're going to actually have a crosshair. So I'll know when I'm telling him to go kill things. Because otherwise I don't really know how to turn my crosshair on. Oh, and he's actually eating all of them too. Ooh, we have a cave over here this entire time. Huh. I completely forgot that we ended up actually finding that. A level 10 trike. I don't know if I want to risk that. I, I don't think so. I don't think we should do that. Uh, we're not gaining that much experience as I thought we would though, folks. Like, I, I thought we would be gaining a lot more, but it seems like not necessarily because most of it is just Yoshi probably gaining all the XP, right? So let's go see if we can end up completing this quest. I know that we are finally level 20, so we can actually take a look at some of the other gear, which is great. Like, I really got to get to some hardcore grinding just in my own time here. And I got to watch out because, yikes. Uh, taming creatures will increase your chances of survival. Tame a Fiomia with a purple berry. You mean a Mejo Berry? Do those tame them faster? I didn't even think that certain creatures would actually have favorite foods. I thought it was just berries, like as a universal thing, and that was it. What about this guy? Taming creatures will increase. Okay, we can't complete that quest because we're already running it. So where's another Fiomia? Because unfortunately, I just killed like everything. There we go, level 14. That should be easy enough. And while we're at it, let's also take a peek. I gotta get a little bit more health, even though that's not really gonna help us that much. And now that we're level 20, we should actually see some really cool stuff. Okay, so we can get a candle helmet, so we can actually start going caving. That's great. That's awesome. Uh, that's going to end up just being like a light hat, right? Uh, fishing rod, which is interesting. I like that. I want to mess around with that. Then we've got a it Ichiosaurus saddle. I don't even know what an Ichiosaurus is, so I won't get this just yet. And then there's water piping so that we could get into gardening. Ew. Carbomies. I don't even know what that creature is either. And then a water reservoir. Connect this to a water to continuously get water resources. Uh, and then a simple mask which protects you from poison attacks. Now, we haven't really ran into any enemies that are doing poison attacks or anything. Look at him. He's dancing. So, I, I don't think that we need to necessarily do that yet. All right. What are we going to end up actually getting out of this quest? Hopefully something worthwhile. Just more of those dumb title deeds. Ew. That's not really like a good item at all. I don't know. But whatever. Anyways, uh, let me go back to base and see if we can end up making ourselves that light helmet. I would love to go caving today. Oh my. Well, we got a thunderstorm coming in. That can't be good. I <laughs> I don't know about this, dude. You can go ahead and stay outside. Yoshi, can you come in with me, buddy? Or are you too big? I really hope that he doesn't get like struck by lightning here. I really, really hope. Can you please get out of my way? Okay, you know what? Convert into block. It's on cooldown. That kind of sucks. Well, anyways, the mortar thing is what we needed because we needed chitin. Uh, and then what else do we need for the helmet? A cloth hat. Okay. Hat. We should be able to make one of the... Oh, I already had one in my inventory. Yikes. Well, either way, now we can actually make that thing. And let me actually sort out my inventory here. Well, you know what? It's a good thing that I ended up making our escape hatch because... <laughs> He is blocking me right now. I can't have him! What is that? Can you please? Okay, Yoshi can fit in here. He's just kind of a jerk, that's all. I like this storm. It's pretty, but uh, I'm a little bit scared at the same time. So I'm obviously going to take Yoshi with us because if I don't, I'm going to die. Oh my gosh, he's got so many items in his inventory. This is great! I didn't know that he was claiming all of the stuff off of all of those dinos. That's nuts. And we can carry like so much of it too. Okay, let's just put, let's put all the meat in here because I don't really care. At least it does let us store like tons and tons of all of this stuff in here. And then I should actually store the rest of these items too. Can you please, can you please let me move? Yeah, whatever. I'll put it in this outdoor chest in the meantime. Okay, bloop. There we go. So now we've actually got a light helmet, which... It's pretty cool, dude. I like that. That's that's really neat. So we should hopefully be able to get into some quest or caving, but I want to have one of these. Oh, what was it called? It was like a guide post or something. I don't even remember what it was called. Let me see. Ah, I didn't end up claiming it. That's why. Okay, so that's just going to take mushrooms. Ooh, we don't have mushrooms. 
I don't honestly even know where any of those are. Yoshi, save your master! Save him! Thank you. You stay there, questy. That's all you are to me, was just a quest. <laughs> you're, you're nothing. Nothing else. I don't know if I want to send our dino to attack that stupid plant. And hopefully, most of all, there's not going to be like a million zillion zombies in this cave or something that are going to absolutely destroy my face. Okay, so there's a raptor down there. Immediately means that we got to watch ourselves and somehow bring Yoshi in here. Because otherwise, this is going to go very, very badly. But this canyon in general is like so tricky. How, how are we going to navigate this? Jeez. Okay, uh, I guess I'm going to have to do a little bit of digging here. Hey, would you look at that? We actually generated another dungeon under here. Maybe that's why all the raptors are kind of hanging out. That's pretty cool, dude. I didn't know you could actually have them generate underground. Like, yikes. But I got to try and be real careful. There's a lot of raptors down here. I got to be really, really careful, dude. You know what, too? As I was digging, I almost completely forgot that we can actually finally get our hands on a smelter. Requires fuel to use, can be used to refine resources. Yes, most definitely. Iron ingot, obtained by smelting iron ore. So, I don't know where we end up actually finding iron ore and stuff. And ooh! Ooh, we can get ourselves a bird saddle! So we could actually get ourselves a flying mount. We might not get to do that today, because today's plan was us to go into this little cave here. But that is absolutely awesome! Now we can actually... How do we get ore, though? Like, I'm pretty sure a lot of that ore, those are those mushrooms that we need, by the way. I'm pretty sure that the ore, like the copper ore, we have that in our base and we've seen it kind of hanging around the area and junk like that. But we can't mine it with this pick, so I don't know what we're supposed to actually use as the tool. Okay, do we want to actually risk this? I think we do. I think we're just going to go for it. Okay, fall damage is kind of a thing in this game. I got to be very careful too, because I think this raptor is going to try and aggro me. Yep, he's trying, he's trying desperately to get up here and kill me. And he's only level 3, but that, make no mistake, it would still be able to absolutely destroy my face. Like, seriously, so I gotta be real cautious. Okay, Yoshi, please don't fall in the incorrect way and just follow me down here. I don't know how he's going to handle this corner. I really don't know how he's gonna handle this corner. He's probably going to end up falling off the ledge, like, as soon as I try to go down here, isn't he? Because he's trying to kind of follow me, right? So I want to be very, very cautious with this. Oh! Well, that kind of hurt me a little bit. Yoshi, come here. I didn't want you to go all the way down there, mate, but that's cool, I guess. Oh, Yoshi, save me! Save me, Yoshi! Don't fight for yourself! Never mind yourself, you stupid... Oh, dumb game! The raptor the entire time doesn't come for me, and then right then, it's like, you know what? I'm gonna go for you. Stupid, stupid, stupid. You know, you losing your items on the ground is one thing, but you really shouldn't lose your ammo, dude. Like, I, I think that's a bit of an issue. You know, where's Yoshi? Don't tell me Yoshi's dead. Like, did that idiot not defend himself? He should have been able to handle these raptors no problem. Is he really dead? That moron, he should have fought for himself. He would have won too, but I bet you anything he wasn't defending himself. Like, he probably just straight up was like, you know what? I'm just gonna not do anything. I'm gonna, like, let you do all the work, right, Papa? Like, seriously, what an idiot. Jeez, that's so annoying. Like, we keep on losing our raptors over and over. That's so dumb. Well, at least now we know we can kind of set up, like, a little bit of a blockade here. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, no, you don't. You're not coming to me at all. He just fell into the dungeon or something? No, he didn't. I need my items, dude. I need my stupid items. Oh. Oh, this game. <laughs> this is so bad. I mean, at least we got this really cool dungeon, but we're not even going to get to check it out. I mean, if there was just a nice, quick, easy way that I could kind of just seal this area off. Like from this stupid dinosaur. Please. Don't, don't, don't come over here, okay? You just stay right there. Stay trapped forever, little young baby raptor. Okay? Like, seriously, don't, don't, don't try to come out. Just don't. Don't do it. Okay? It's not going to end well for you. Actually, it's not going to end well for me. I'm the one who's probably going to die. Um, hopefully we can just seal this idiot in. Because that would be nice. Uh, how we doing? I think we got him. 
Oh boy, that other raptor's really desperately trying to come get me though. And this other one somehow is hitting me through the floor, you cheaty little game. I knew you'd be able to do something like that, you jerk. What a moron. Like what a mean, what a mean little raptor. Okay, how we doing? Is that raptor actually gonna come around? That level 20 idiot? Okay, let me uh, go down here, grab my items, and let's get out of here and forget this. I don't even care anymore. Seeing as my raptors and dinosaurs are just dying all the freaking time, like, that's another thing too, is there needs to be, there needs to be a way to resurrect your creatures, because this is just, this is brutal. Like, I thought this was supposed to be like an easier version of Ark. Now, don't get me wrong, it's easy enough, but this beginning half of the game is just as difficult as Ark, where we're not at a point where we can actually get any dinosaurs that can actually help us and make a difference because of the fact that all we can really do is use our sleepy arrows. Now, that said, we can get ourselves a flying dinosaur, so I'm definitely going to do that. I also want to double check, what is this ore? This is Brenstone, which requires a copper pick. Okay, so that's not copper at all. Interesting. Uh, what bow am I actually using? Like, am I using the sleepy darts? Yeah, okay. I don't know if I want to go for this guy, though. Yeah, because this is raptor territory. Let's go for a different one. All right, there we go. There's a lot of flyers in this main plane area. And it kind of sucks like that we've been spending so much of our time just in like these one, like two little areas. That's where I'm really hoping like if we can end up getting one of these flyers. I don't want one that's level two though because it'll die too quick. Um, but if we get a flyer, we can actually start exploring the world and starting to kind of see if we can find some other creatures. Because we actually can make a boar saddle right now, and I'm pretty sure that that thing's quite deadly, and we'd be able to actually use it to take on some raptors and stuff. More importantly, we'd be able to actually ride it while we kill things. 39, that sounds good enough to me. One arrow should do it. Okay. One arrow normally does it. Oh, there we go, except he's knocked out in the water, so he's probably gonna drown, isn't he? Is he drowning? I hope he's not drowning. I mean, I just act like he's not. We're just gonna give him the items that he needs and just pretend that he's not drowning. Oh, good! He needs meat, and I don't have meat because I gave it all to my dumb raptor. Well, actually, I had it all in the uh, food locker back at our base. That just gave us fur? Really? There's no meat on a little, cute, adorable bunny? I need meat, man! There, a dodo. That'll suffice. Now, the thing about these guys is they're quite a difficult tame. Like, we have to use the sleepy potions on him. Maybe not all of our sleepy potions, but we gotta at least use a couple because he ends up waking up super duper quick. That's weird. A fishing rod actually uh, needs copper ingots. Apply the bait on this and use it to catch some fish while sitting on a chair or bench. So you have to sit on a chair or bench. I kind of like that, actually. Um, so the way that you end up actually getting this guy to drink the sleepy potion is you just click it while it's in the creature's inventory and then just click remote use and that's gonna force him to drink it which you can see his torpidity is starting to actually go back up or visually you can see his unconscious meter is going back up while the taming is as slow as a snail walking and uh, I mean snails don't walk so that's that's pretty slow. While I'm waiting for this guy to tame, I've just been going around the environment, killing pretty much everything, and I'm surprised how quickly we're actually still leveling. Like, the funny thing is, if I would actually just spend some time solid grinding out these creatures, we could probably get to level 30 pretty quickly and then get ourselves a trike, which might be what I end up doing before we end up doing the next episode, all right? Because seriously, we gotta try and play catch up here, like, man alive. Okay, so we can get ourselves uh, the simple mask, yeah, that we already could get the simple glider, which is pretty cool. A simple hang glider, use it in the air to glide like a bird. So that could save us from fall damage. I guess it's worth grabbing. Fruit display, store your fruit in this. Putting in some snowballs will keep your fruit longer. Ooh, I kind of like that. That's really neat. Huh. I really got to get into the building. I'm sure you can make some really impressive stuff. Uh, the stipe tick that can restore a small amount of HP over time can only be crafted on mortar and pestle. Okay, so that's just a health potion, vigor agent, that restores a small amount of stamina immediately. We never need that. Like, one of the things that I will say about this game, one of the, my uh, criticisms that they didn't seem to calculate uh, when they were making this game is stamina is like one of the most useless stats ever because of the simple fact that you never like have a full area uh, or stretch of land where you can actually start running, you know? Like, look at this. 
Our stamina is going down, it's going down. We get up here, we jump here, jumping, jumping. Like, you're always just climbing over blocks. So having the stamina be higher is still pretty useless. Top with the fact that unlike Ark, normally you can actually uh, increase your movement speed, right? You can't do that in Pixark. And because of it, running is that much more useless because we can't outrun anything. And honestly speaking, there's no point in there being movement speed stats because of the fact that we still bump into everything as we end up running into it anyways. Okay, what did we need? Let's go for, I mean, I guess we could go for a little more health. Tanking is what we need. I wanna to get to 200 health and then maybe 200 damage. Maybe get our fortitude up a little bit just because it's constantly lying to me saying that, oh, you're like overheating and stuff, but we got a smelter at least so I can place that down on the ground after we get this guy. One more and then he should be done. And I wanna take this opportunity to kind of just talk about what my ideas are for what's going on with the series and stuff, folks. Cause I know that we're quite a few episodes in to only now be getting a Terran on, right? That's just because for the most part, you know, I've been grinding out these episodes pretty consistently because I'm enjoying playing it. And because of it, I don't really feel that there's much need to make cuts. Usually what I end up doing in a series like this is I don't really make that many cuts at the beginning of the series because it's our first time experience with all this stuff. But as you can see now in these episodes, like as we kind of get further and further in the series, I'm just kind of skipping most of the taming method and timing and stuff like that, just because we already know what it is. We wait for it to fully tame and then there you go. Not to mention travel time over the same distance and stuff like that, especially as we're hanging out in this same biome because that's kind of the thing. Now, later on in the series, I mean, who knows? When we get to like further episodes, it's probably just gonna be searching for a specific type of monster, find it, and then trying to tame it. And hopefully by then I'll be a little bit more experienced at the game because as of right now, I'm just getting my butt kicked. I don't want to use our last sleepy potion. I don't think that we need to because he should eat any minute. We gotta wait for his food to go down to what? Does the guy go down 50 or 100? Let's find out. Uh, okay, it needed to go down by 25 before he actually ate that last piece of meat. Let's call him Paracoopa. I know that's like a terrible name for him, but I honestly don't really care. He is beautiful and I will name him Tom. Actually, he's not named Tom, he's named Paracoopa. Yes, it's beautiful, it's one of a kind. We finally have an air creature. Oh, this is good, this is good, this is good. And there's a stupid raptor hanging on the top of my house. You dumb little raptor. Can we actually take the raptor on, I wonder? He just killed my quest creature, whatever. Can we pick it up? Nope. Ugh. Okay, so should we be able to take it on with this air creature? Can we take on a level 9 raptor? Doesn't really look like it. Doesn't really look like it at all. I'm just going to stay away from him. And I got to make a home of safety for this guy. Seriously, dude. Anyways, though, Reapers, I'm not uh, particularly looking forward to just waiting for this idiot to leave my house alone. So we're going to call it here. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, favorite, and subscribe for more daily content. And if you want to support me, you can always sponsor my channel and check links in the description for my merch store as well as Gawkbox, which is a way that you can donate to me for free. Sanora and stay epic, everybody. Next episode, we finally get to take to the skies.